Hello everyone. Today in this video, I will be taking up uh, the topic female reproductive system. This video is in continuation to the ta uh, topic reproduction where I have taken up the different definition that I have discussed male reproductive system and now I am going to discuss the female reproductive system. Starting up with the female reproductive system as we did in the male, there are two types primary parts and the, uh, the accessory parts, the primary ones which are the ones which mainly or directly take part in the process of reproduction and then are the accessory ones which just assist the part. Now I will be drawing the diagram and simultaneously I will be explaining. Now when we see a, a female reproductive system, I will just uh, make a diagram first so that it is easier for you to understand. Oh. Now, in female reproductive system, the outermost part or uh, the main uh, part of the female reproductive uh, system which is responsible for the process of reproduction is the ovary. Okay? Ovary, I will be labeling first so that it becomes easy for you. Ovary. These are known as uh, fimbrae, oviduct funnel. This is the ovary duct and this is the uterus and this is the urethra. Okay, now same this side also. Now starting now with the parts and then their explanation. The first part is the ovary. Ovary, it is a very very important part of the female reproductive system because it performs two functions that is one is the formation of ova and second one is the release of the hormone progesterone and oestrogen. There are, these are the two female reproductive hormones which are very important for the appearance of secondary sexual characters and also for the proper functioning of the female reproductive system. Now when we see a magnified view of ovary what do we observe? Now listen everyone, this is a very very important part, comes in many of the exams, comes as a structural question also, please do listen carefully and imbibe. Now this is a magnified view of ovary, the wall of the ovary would undergo the process of oogenesis as I have explained in the previous video, the process of formation of ova. Now as the egg or ova is formed, this egg will be covered by a covering and what is the function of covering it? That this egg is immature. To make it mature for the process of fertilization, it has to be covered by this covering or follicle. This whole structure after the egg being covered by the follicle is known as Graphene follicle. Okay, so if the question comes, what is a graphene follicle? The egg is covered by a follicle and the inside is filled up with a fluid. This whole structure is known as a graphene follicle. Okay, the first step is egg is formed by the process. Here I am just going to write egg formed by Oogenesis. Okay, so one definition is oogenesis. What is oogenesis? The process by which the egg is formed. This egg is formed, covered by a follicle, makes a structure known as graphene follicle. Stays inside the follicle for a while and matures. After maturation, this follicle it ruptures and releases the egg. This process of rupturing of the graphene follicle and release of egg is called ovulation. The second term. The first was oogenesis. The second one is ovulation. Children, they confuse between the both. Ovulation is the rupturing of graphene follicle and the release of egg is known as ovulation. What is oogenesis? Formation of egg is known as oogenesis. 
Now, the part which is left out here, the part of graphene follicle which is left and which releases the egg, this plays a very, very, very important role. Why? Because this leftover mass is known as corpus luteum and it releases the hormone progesterone. Now in the starting only I have told you that ovary performs two functions. One is egg formation, second is production of progesterone. The which part of ovary forms progesterone? That is the corpus luteum. It's the kind of endocrine structure which releases progesterone. I'll, again, once again, I will come to it. First is ovulation, the process of formation of egg. Egg is covered by a follicle, forms a structure known as graphene follicle. Graphene follicle after a while ruptures to release the egg. The process is known as ovulation. The leftover mass turns into yellow color and secretes the hormone progesterone and prepares the female reproductive tract for the process of fertilization. Okay, these are all the incidents which are taking place in ovary. Now after the final release of egg, now here the egg is released in this ovary, this egg will be picked up by the oviducal funnel. Oviducal funnel, it's just like a funnel, okay, these finger like processes are there, which are there over though, this is ovary, these finger like processes are here, when the ovary releases the egg, just any ovary in egg could release kiya, this cup is going to hold that egg and is going to pass it into the oviduct. So what is the function of ovary to produce the egg and to produce progesterone? What is the function of oviducal funnel to pick up the egg and pass it to oviduct? Now oviduct is also known as fallopian tube. Very very important part. Why? Because in this oviduct, when the egg reaches oviduct, it stays here for a while and if the process or intercourse has been there, that is the sperms are there inside the female tract, they will finally move and reach the egg in fallopian tube. That is the process of fertilization. Fusion of sperm plus ova is going to take place in fallopian tube. What is the function of oviduct of fallopian tube? The process of fertilization occurs here. Now, what will happen then? The egg. Now, after this, now listen very carefully. I will be taking up a next video after this video in which I will be explaining that when fertilization occurs, first how it occurs, when it occurs, and if it is not there, what will happen? Okay, in the next video, I will be taking up. Here, I am just going to explain the female reproductive parts only. Okay, so oh, here, I am not going to discuss about fertilization here now. Now, what will happen? The, for, uh, the formation or sorry, function of fallopian tube is fertilization. Next part is uterus. The function of uterus is that if fertilization is there, this zygote is going to come down to the uterus and will stick or fix itself to the wall of uterus. This process is known as implantation. Okay, so what is implantation? The fixing up of the blastocyst. That also will come in the next video. The fixing up of the blastocyst to the wall of uterus is known as implantation. That is that zygote will, going, it will implant itself to the uterus. Okay, now what is the function of uterus? First, implantation occurs here. Second, the development of zygote or blastocyst into a full grown baby. All that process is going to occur in the uterus. Okay, so what is the function of uterus? The development of a full grown baby plus implantation occurs in uterus. Next is vagina. Vagina is the part of the female reproductive part through which the uh, uh, baby, a uh, full grown baby, it moves out from the body of the female. That is, uh, that is the process of parturition. All these terms, I will be making a different video for different terms which are there in female reproductive part. That would be easy for you to understand. Here just I will uh, explain this. That vagina and finally the urethra, the, uh, uh, the um, this uh, full grown baby, it comes out from the body of the female by the process of parturition through vagina and finally the uterus. 
okay so these are the main reproductive parts which are taking a uh, place which are responsible actually for the process of reproduction there are accessory parts which are there in your books no questions first of all listen very carefully no question comes from those uh, topics if you go through all the previous uh, uh, questions also these uh, all the parts which are, are there which are accessory they are not related because they are not playing an important role in the process of reproduction they are there they are accessory parts they just assist the process of reproduction they do not directly uh, help in the process of uh, reproduction hence they are not explained here these are the main topics which are there in the book which uh, you must know as uh, the examination point of view okay so this was all about the uh, female reproductive system in my next video i will be taking up uh, the um, uh, the process of fertilization what happens after fertilization and how uh, uh, if fertilization is not there what will happen in the uterus all that will be taken up in the next video so now if you like the video please do subscribe please do like the video like the video and please do write in comment box whatever next topics you want to know about thank you